it's Jeff and we're at Budroom and we're going to show you how to set up the brood in a flow hive. The flow hives in the brood, they come with eight frames. I advise people to use eight frames in the brood of the flow hive. Are they just an eight frame box, are they? They are an eight frame box, but it's quite a, a wide eight frame box. You can almost fit nine frames in them. That's the inner cover. Oh, they're quite bees. Yeah, let's hope that they stay quiet. It's got a young queen, and they'll let her know when it, she's laying fertile eggs and when they're built on her frames a bit. Oh, she's used whack foundation on these? Yeah, she got a friend to do it for her. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Let's have a look and see if we can find the queen. See, so we're still in winter. For another week. For another week. Once we get into spring and get some decent spring weather, these bees will really expand onto those frames. This one's got a lot of honey on it so far. You can't see any these eggs. Are their frames? No, these oh. four frames in the middle are ours. What I'll do is I'll integrate these frames out and replace them with her frames. Oh, okay. So that eventually she'll end up with the colony with all of her frames in. See, because I've smoked them, they're, they're right up around the top here. Yeah. Eating honey. Eating honey. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just take it out to a bit more light. She's only just started laying. Oh, good. I can see the odd egg in these cells oh, down okay. here. Wow. But it'll be hard to video them. Yeah. But she hasn't, she, you know, it must be only just started and she's a bit sluggish to start with. Let's see if I can see her on one of the other frames. There she is. <laughs> oh, she is a beauty. You see my finger? Yep, I found her. Hang see? on. Yep, I've got her. See, she's not so agile. I'm just going to bring her in. She's not as agile as the, the one in the swarm. See, she, oh, she's laying eggs. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, she's laying eggs, so she's... I talked about this on the flow forum. So mm. you can see what I'm doing here. Where the bridging comb has joined between the frames, I'm just taking that off, mainly so I don't get any bees squashed in between it. You don't want the bees to, to get squashed in between those two frames. I can match these two frames up without squashing any bees. Same thing goes, just gently move them across. Now that we know that she's laying, what I could do, introduce another one of her frames into it, and take my frame out. When it's time to transport these bees, I'm going to bring the frames up close together and then put a packer on each side. To stop them moving To stop they're... them wobbling around while they're yeah. being transported. Okay. And then I'm going to recommend that the lady, uh, Shelley, evenly spaces the frames uh, when she gets home. So I find this is a good spacer, the edge of this hive tool. Uh, you can just use that as a spacer and just use that and evenly space your frames. These come with eight frames and you've got this gap that's quite big. So you can see here now that I've evenly spaced these apart now what will happen is the bees will put propolis around these lugs. Now this is my recommendation by spacing the eight frames out you can see here that the space isn't all that much that's that so I'll just give them a little bit of smoke I'll just shake these bees off this frame it's uh, no good having these bees work on my frames when they could be working on the ladies frames as soon as we see that those eggs that she's laid are sealed and their worker comb and not drone comb, then I can ring her up and let her know that her bees are ready. And I'll just put this back on. She's decided to paint her box. It's done a nice job. Yeah, a nice job. This is another Australian made flow hive and you can see they've decided to varnish. And that looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks nice. Just opened up this hive so I can put that frame in and <laughs> And while I'm here, I'm just looking to see if I can find the queen, because it's another nuke that's making a queen. It's a, I can show you what I was talking about, about those 
propolis pattern. So if I was going to put this frame back, and it was the first one, well you can see here clearly, you can see what I'm talking about, see? You can see. Yeah, I can see. See, there's one here. There's another one there. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.